Ready. Caught on camera, a man in handcuffs punched by a security officer in the middle of Uptown Charlotte. Oh no, he's twirling. Now, Channel 9 is looking into the security company responsible for patrolling the transit center. Now, only Channel 9 obtained the video that shows that punch. And now there are calls for security changes at the transit center. Eyewitness News reporter Mark Becker is live there now and learning Katz is taking action, Mark. Yeah, Allison, Katz has been contracting with that security company for a while now to provide private police officers at the transit center there. And it's one of those private officers that you see hitting a man in handcuffs. Coming down the stairs. That video was apparently shot by a passenger in the transit center as he walked toward the group of officers working for G4S, a private security company contracting to do security there. They were surrounding a man on the ground. That man was 25-year-old Patrick McManus, a young man who's been in more than his share of trouble over the last three years, being arrested more than two dozen times. But watch what happened this time. After the officers had him in handcuffs and were starting to walk him away, McManus appears to fall back down. Then one of those officers on the left in the video reaches out and hits him, it looks like, two times before another officer steps in and pushes that officer away. And then the others take McManus away on their way to jail. What you're watching here happened on July 7th, but CMPD wasn't aware of the incident here or this video until just two days ago. And now they've started an investigation with Patrick McManus listed as the victim. I'm glad that they, uh, they're looking into this and hopefully um, uh, if it's determined that uh, charges are warranted, that, that that would in fact happen. Willie Ratchford leads the Community Relations Committee here and says there's no excuse for what that officer did. Katz agrees and has told G4S that officer and his supervisor cannot work Katz contracts anymore. And any officer still assigned to the transit center will have to get training on use of excessive force. I also contacted G4S directly. They told me that all questions need to go back to Katz. And we did try to reach Patrick McManus, but he is still in jail on other charges. Reporting live uptown, Mark Becker, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Mark, thanks. Channel 9 has covered assaults at the transit center in the past. Back in February, investigators say a trespassing suspect attacked a security officer who was trying to arrest him. Police say Reginald Alexander punched the officer so many times it knocked him unconscious. And last year, a nine investigation uncovered more than 100 crimes in and around the transit center in just six months. A nonprofit group spends time there offering resources for housing and jobs. They hope that it cuts down on the crime. You can see the new video we obtained as well as our past coverage on WSOCTV.com.